And now, in spite of several interventions made towards waste management, the situation remains a major challenge in Ghana. As part of efforts to improve sanitation, a waste recycling facility has been opened to turn fecal, fecal sludge into manure to improve the agricultural sector. Accra alone produces over 2,000 tons of waste daily. The facility will process liquid and solid waste to produce rich fertilizer for farmers across the country. Situated at Botiman in the Tema metropolis, the plants will produce 500 tons of fertilizer annually from fecal sludge. As part of activities marking this year's World Water Day celebration, which is under the theme Water and Water Waste, a team of major stakeholders in water and waste management in Ghana are taking on a tour of the facility. The International Water Management Institute conducted a research together with the Center for Scientific and Industrial Research which suggested the need for resource recovery and waste reuse in urban settings. A sub-team leader at the International Water Management Institute, Josian Nikima, noted the plant is the end product of the research. The work we started doing around fecal sludge started more than 15 years ago. Initially, our interest was really to understand what was happening with the waste management, the fecal sludge management, trying to understand the challenges, and what are people doing already, what kind of solutions they are trying to implement to address this issue. From the year 2004, Five, we started testing treatment options. What kind of process can be implemented in order to convert this fecal sludge into a safe product that farmers can use? A member of the planning committee in charge of this year's World Water Day celebrations in Ghana, Ama Kudom Ajiman, called for the utilization of waste in Ghana. What we think is waste, that is our feces, then the rotting food from the markets that we think should be discarded and uh, which we actually also discard in ways that are creating problems both for human health and for the environment is not something to be discarded it is a resource which if we are able to take good care of will help us as a country in so many ways the facility which costs $700,000 was funded by the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development of Ghana, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Grand Challenges Canada and the Department of International Development.